What's going on you guys? I have another HP Elite Disk 800G4. This is the tower. So it's got an Intel Core i7 CPU in here. So it does have also optical drive here. Got these USB ports, USB type C, the power switch here. On and off. So I'm gonna lay it down. So it's got a tablet here in the back over here. See the back side right here? It's like plastic, you can't see it, you see? And you're gonna press it up like that with your finger. You're gonna slide it out. See right here? You gotta press it up like this. Then you're gonna slide the side cover panel. Uh, you're gonna move the front plastic cover also. It's got clips here. It comes out. So we're gonna lift this up like this. Gently remove this power cable, CPU power cable. So it's got a came with a 16 gigs of RAM, single channel DDR4. So it's kind of slow, and came with the SSD 256 NVMe M.2 2280. And I'm gonna upgrade to ter two terabytes, add another stick of RAM to make it 32 gigs of RAM. And probably put in a three and a half inch. Show you guys do that three and a half inch here. So here's a three and a half inch hard drive right here. Then you have to buy the screws separately for it. I'll put a link in the description. So you're gonna install two here on each side. Like this, and you have to buy the SATA cable also separately. You're gonna connect the power. This will be all just basically for the extra storage guys. This is not gonna be the main boot drive. And you just connect it right here. You don't have to go to SATA zero right here. It says the blue one, but I'm gonna connect to the SATA. Look like it's a SATA two. It's fine. That's complete. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install extra RAM stick here. And see right here, the right side, this is a channel A, the blue, the black slots. And this is the dim slot one right here, right side, single channel. And I'm gonna install one here to make a dual channel. So the black slots are channel A. Uh, the channel B is a white slot, so don't forget. So if you have a one stick, you're gonna install all the way in the right, right here, the dim one, and the second one you install right here, the second one, to be dual channel. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do, see if you guys can see. Oh yeah, it's barely can see here. Okay, so this is the SSD 2280. And you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. If you guys don't have it, then what you guys need to do is, I'm gonna show you. You just have to buy the bit set right here. It's gonna be a really cool one. I just, they sell this on Amazon, put in the description, you guys have to buy it. This would be the best. If you guys don't have any right screwdriver, just get this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screw right here. You see that right in the corner? It's pretty low, it came with 256 uh, soul state drive in here. That's a little shipped. So it looks like somebody ordered the PC, it came with 256 gig. So it's pretty low. I'm gonna install, guys. Uh, this is gonna be two terabytes. Uh, crucial, I'm using. It's complete. So there's another slot right here. You guys can see install another SSD if you want, but you have to buy the standout for it and buy the screw for it right here. That's cool. 
Uh, this one is for the wireless, it looks like. It shows right here. So that's complete. Now I'm gonna go with the other side and install the video card. So it's got a PCI Express time 16 slot over here, the black one, that's what I'm gonna install it at. So you can remove one PCI bracket in here. And the other one here looks like it's mounted to the case. So all you have to do is you take a pliers and you gotta remove it. Be really careful. So the video card guys I'm gonna install is a GeForce RTX 3050. And let me go ahead and remove this box off. And it's actually using two dual slots. So it's got a two HDMI ports and one display port, you guys can see. And this one does not use a power connector right here. You see that? This one don't. So we so I'm gonna go and install it. I'm gonna be using HDMI port, so just gonna remove it. And then stand up, can't see. So I'm gonna move it to this side so you guys can see better. Oh, so forgot. You gotta remove this plastic here, the protection here. See that PCI bracket right here? With the PCI slot, you gotta remove it. So guys, don't forget, you gotta remove this plastic. The bottom one you cannot install only to the top one the black slot is. It's installed. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna close this. And install this back, the, the, see the CPU power cable back here, like that. And I'm gonna install the front plastic cover. Might have to lift up the PC like this and install it. And the side cover panel. And guys, if you guys have been done installing now, uh, came with the Windows 10 Pro, but you can install Windows 11 Pro. And I put a link in the description, you guys can look at the other video. It's a laptop. I install Windows 11, and it's the same process. So I'm gonna close this up like this. And also the power supply I forgot is uh, 250 watts. So it'll work perfectly fine with this video card. I'm gonna install like this. And this is how it's gonna look like the backside. So, and also if you guys are gonna be using wireless, I'm gonna show you. This doesn't have a wireless Wi-Fi. Wi and the one I'll be, like you guys can buy online through Amazon is this wireless gonna go right through the USB like this, install. And you install the windows, you install the drivers automatically. So, just like that, you see? That's gonna be the wireless. See so yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.